Welcome to All About TRH, aka All About the Truth. On today's episode, we recap the latest drama from the Valley and talk Kristen admitting she had to get messy in order to make the Valley a hit. Hi, Chantel. Hey, Roxanne. How are you? I'm doing good. Why did you say it like that? I don't know. Because I was looking at my computer and I was distracted and I was like, wait, shit, we're going. But Chantal, your birthday's in four days. Oh, I know. You little Aries. Mm-hmm. I'm I know Aries. nothing. About, I know nothing about that. Yeah, you're a Taurus, but you, you do you do act like a Taurus, actually. Yeah, I'm stubborn. Yes. I don't know what an Aries is, but I've heard bad things. No. What do you mean? First of all, we're the first of the zodiac signs which means we're the leader and we are the leader doubt so, it does oh that doesn't make sense to you well it's funny because both my kids are aries <laughs> oh sloan sloan is, sloan is gonna be an aries for sure she just what? marches her own tune sloan's an aries and l's an aries i know but l is like five years old we don't know anything about her personality yet. <laughs> yeah <laughs> She's so little. I'm like so terrified with her. <laughs> I'm just like dying for her to grow because I'm like, I mean, not really, but you know, she's just so tiny and so fragile right now. It's crazy. I forget she... this. What were you going to say? And that she will, like she will grow. <laughs> <laughs> what were you going to say? Wow. Someone's aggressive. <laughs> I know. Um, so uh, we are recapping the Valley. what do you think about the episode? Mm, I liked it, but you know. I love it. I don't know why I, I do, love it. I will say I do like how authentic it feels. Like even the way that like the way that they're really getting mad at each other. Um, it does feel more real, which I really like. So yeah. Well, do you want to hear something funny? Kristen came out and she actually said uh that it that the reason basically like this whole like racist storyline um has come out is because you know, she wanted to make the show, like, you know, hype up the show a little bit. Oh, yeah. You, I can. And I can see that for sure. Like, she basically saying, like, that the reason why um, she did that was just, just, just to, like, create drama. Yeah. She said she had to get messy in order to make the Valley a hit. And she said, if I gave non-messy truth to the show, it wouldn't air. Trust me. I did try. Ooh, because she probably like, but I think Chris needs to understand there's a different type of energy that's happening on the show. Then like, you don't need to make like what you saw, what you did before in Vanderpump does not need to happen here. You know, like you can, you can just like be a little bit more chill and like maybe things will happen organically. Like the second season, like you don't have to make things happen. Yeah, I think she, I think there's just so much pressure because of Vanderpump rules to make sure that this is a success and it doesn't fail. I know, but it's funny that Kristen's the one that's doing it, and it's not like, you know, Jax over there. Jax does some, do some weird ass stuff. Jax but... totally is doing it. Are you kidding me? His, like, concern about Kristen wanting to get pregnant at 40 years old, like, are you with a stable guy? Bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's like, are no, you like, kidding? That is the scariest up. thing ever. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I mean, we end up continuing this episode with the dinner from hell, and I don't know why, but I really feel bad for Kristen, and I think. It's annoying that no one is bringing up all the context of everything. I think that's why I'm, like, feeling annoyed for Kristen. Yeah, and it, and it also is funny because I think Jax mentioned it a little bit later. It was like, oh, Janet just go – Janet is like me or something. It's like, why hasn't anyone pointed at Janet? Like, yeah. She's, the, she, she's like, pregnant. This, like, yeah, I know. That's true. But, like, this are really – like, this is – originated from her is what people are saying so like why aren't you like why aren't you asking her like what was said i know exactly i feel like michelle is scared to ask what was said because she doesn't want to hear what they're gonna say yeah because like it really could be something like bad yeah say yeah like it make her look bad so she's like just deflecting and they're going hard on Kristen. you guys i'm watching a new show side note um and it's called, okay, so obviously you guys, I mean, Chanel, you watch Selling Sunset. You stopped, though, I'm pretty sure. No, I, like, you, I mean, yes and no. I feel like only like last. watching it. No, I didn't. Like, when, when What's Her Name was pregnant, I was watching it. When who? She stopped, who was pregnant? When um Homegirl, the main girl that, like, left. <laughs> what's her name? Heather? No, um, but I saw when Heather got engaged. Like I saw. Okay, yeah. So you're behind. That was like season four. They have they've had three seasons since. So, anyways, there is uh 
uh, a spinoff from it called Selling Sunset OC. Chantel, if you don't watch it, I'm literally going to kill you. No, it, no, because this stuff is like I, so Chantel, insane. I promise. Like, no, 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 Chantel, I promise. This is, I feel like with Selling Sunset, the regular one, it was like over the top. This one is so toxic, but it also has Brittany Snow's ex-husband. She divorced him after the show aired because of how this girl was acting with, um, like, him and he's married. So you guys know that I am, like, convinced that majority of men cheat. Like, there's just, especially if they're tempted and that I'm, like, scared of, like, work environments. And you guys, just please watch it. Just watch it because it is the most toxic show I've ever watched in my life. I did did just recently, like, you know, um, like, see, like, a statement from Britney Snow. Like, so, like, he, wait, basically. Yeah. So, yeah, when you're watching it, these, honestly, I want to blame. Okay. I want, I guess the part that we don't see that's not on camera is like it involves him um but what we see on camera these girls have no respect for themselves they know he's married and they're literally coming on to him and that is why you guys again I've, i'm scarred from working corporate and what i've seen so like the way people act even if you're married like no one cares like no one cares if you're married so yeah it is so freaking crazy it's so inappropriate it's so disrespectful you need to watch it yeah, that really pissed me off. Oh my god, you're gonna get so heated. Chantel's husband just opened up a coffee shop in a really good area, and she had to like, do we really talk about this? How she yeah, like, I told everyone. It I out. Like, yeah, I told everyone. I was like, I went to the damn meeting. I've been wanting to see like exactly who works here. Um, yeah, and like nothing that I'm afraid about, you guys. But <laughs> I had to make sure. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's not like we we do kind of put it in our head, but I think it's because we do watch too much TV and we watch movies and I don't know. I don't and know like, why I just we are know. Saying. Like I just want to like I want to be able to not, not like it's not like we're gonna stop someone from cheating on us. Like if they're gonna cheat, they're gonna cheat. Like that's on them in the, end of the day. But like at least like I know if there's like a potential and like you know I can like say something about it. Or I do. I do like I hate those people who are like my man would never. Like, I do hate that because I, Chantal, I need you to watch it. I promise I know you'll like it. So I just need you to watch uh, it because I know. No, because I, I feel like I watched two episodes in the beginning of the first, how many seasons is it now? Just two. Oh, okay. I watched like the first two episodes. Um, and it's, yeah, like, I don't know if I really well, love now it. That I, now, yeah, now that I'm telling you, watch it. So if you guys are looking for a show, it's called Selling Sunset OC, not the other one. The other one is fake as hell. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So, like, it, so and then fake. I still watched it. I liked it. and But, like, yeah. it was still too much. It got, it got too, too like, fake. Yeah. yeah. And, like, these ones, like, these girls kind of look normal compared to the one that Selling oh, Sunset is. Thank God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, those ones look like, oh, my, those one looks like, they look like filters, <laughs> the other ones. Um, okay. Anyways, I'm sorry. Well, I don't know what just happened and why okay, people love that. like um, people love like what's some call it? What like reality shows? Anyway, so that they're they're not gonna. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Sorry. Okay. Anyways, I was dying when Daniel got involved, and he's like, "Where did all this come from?" And then you could hear Naya, and she says, "Danny" in the wifey voice, which means "Shut the f up and don't get involved in it." <laughs> yeah. And. I just, I don't know. I stand that, but Kristen doesn't get why they would bring up her past, but I mean, I do get it. And if I was Kristen, I would let the table know exactly what was said. I was just getting frustrated that the context wasn't there. Yeah. Like hundred percent. She wasn't saying anything. So it's like, okay, like speak up more. Well, Michelle is asking Kristen to say she made it up and I'm like, okay, I mean, but if she didn't make it up, like this is so bizarre. And I I thought Michelle was doing too much. Yeah. I liked her dress. Shondal, can you find it for me? Yeah, we sent me a picture though. Did you like it? It was like this orange dress. Yeah, she's cute, Michelle. She's so pretty. Yeah, you can tell though. Like, anytime when you have like this like mix of like anything, like you're just gorgeous. <laughs> it's like you're meant to be gorgeous no matter what. Yeah. What is she? She said that she's um. <laughs> don't say it just in case. You I don't know. know. I feel like she's a Venezuelan and something. Oh, I could see her being Venezuelan. I think Venezuelan. My best friend's Venezuelan, and like those are like the prettiest people ever. Um. Thrive Market is my go-to for all grocery and household essentials. And the convenience of getting everything online then quickly shipped to my doorstep is a huge time saver. I love that Thrive Market carries brands with the highest quality ingredients and sourcing methods. They restrict hundreds of ingredients across their food and cleaning categories. And I can use their on-site filters to suit my lifestyle needs and my kids' lifestyle needs. Whether you're looking for organic kids' snacks, low-sugar alternatives, or gluten-free pantry essentials, you can curate your own shopping experience with a few clicks. And as a Thrive Market member, I save money on every 
every single grocery order. On average, I save over 30% each time. They even have a deals page that changes daily and always has some of my favorite brands. I saved so much money recently and all the snacks I bought for my kids that have clean ingredients. Join in on the savings with Thrive Market today and get 30% off your first order plus a free $60 gift. Go to thrivemarket.com slash TRH for 30% off your first order plus a free $60 gift. That's T-H-R-I-V-E market.com slash TRH. But anyways, Naya wants to get the F out, and I'm living for that. Like, she does not care that they're filming a reality show. She's like, I have a babysitter. We need to go. I like that, though, because it makes it feel so much more real. Yeah, you know? she like, doesn't care. Mm-hmm. Like, if that was Vanderpump Rules, even if their babysitter was, like, texting them saying, hey, I need to go home, they'd be like, deal with it, you know? And she's kind of like, no, like, let's go home to our kids now. We've been out for a couple hours. That's all that we can do right now. She really does put her kids first. I just, I really like her. So Kristen tells Zach that she's so disappointed in him, and Zach does apologize to Kristen, but... He does it when no one's around. I hate that stuff. And Zach is mad that Kristen didn't go after Janet and only went after Zach. And I agree. Janet is literally listening to everything. Even at the door, she was listening. And then she comes out and she's like, all this is causing me straws. And I'm like, Janet, stop. Janet, yeah, like stop. I can, you freaking, you for sure can tell she's like one of those like shit talkers. And like now oh, it's like, yeah. Like on, yeah. And like now that you're on camera, it's like you're, you're scared because like you forget that people are going to want to bring this stuff up. And before they didn't, like it didn't matter if they didn't bring it up or did because yeah. you could just deny it. But now there's like a show to talk about. And it's like she's for sure going to get in a lot of trouble. For sure. Brittany's mom is helping out, by the way, for the month. And Brittany wants a day night from her husband. And Jack says the bar has been taking over his life. And red flag, red flag, red flag, red flag. This bar is going to be taking a lot more out of him. No, what was red flag, red flag, red flag is what Brittany said about their sex life. Oh, I, I said that. Let's talk about Brittany saying her and Jax have had sex twice a year. What in the actual F? Well, okay. I will say this is she said that they've only had sex twice up this year at the time that they like, what, I don't know when they were filming. So like, what if it was okay. April? Like still, I don't excuse it, but like, I don't think she meant to say they've only had sex twice in the whole year. It was like what, at that moment of the year. So I don't know. It, I think they were filming in summer actually. So look, dude, I get that we are tired with kids, but like you guys have one kid, dude. I mean, I don't know if... I, I feel like Superwoman after, like, I watch these things and see how anxious they get over, like, their one kid. But I know, I mean, I'm watching and their kids seem fine, too. But I know I think, it can be overwhelming. I know we're all crazy with our first kid. Yeah. And I think it's, like, you, you don't know what you don't know yet. So it's, like, one kid could be mean a lot to somebody. But then, like, after having after having two, three, four, you're, like, well, one, one is a piece of cake. But, like, they don't yeah. know that. So it's, like, they're tired. It's, like, they're they're stressed. Like, they, they don't know anything other than that one kid. So it's, yeah, like. Yeah, that's true. Like, you know, like, the someone, someone that Naya that has, like, a kid and twins, she's probably, like, what the hell is wrong with you guys? But, like, yeah. to them, it's a lot because they've already adjusted their life to that one kid. Like, literally, with my first kid, I got pregnant right away. I was like, this is the best thing ever. This is so easy. <laughs> like, and I got pregnant right away. And, um, yeah, but I know, like, it is different. But I know that I I remember literally being in my living room crying and just, like, saying, at, like, it was, like, the nighttime. And I didn't know, you know, I, I don't know. Like, now I just know that they, like, sleep, eat burp them and they'll go back if it change them and they'll go back to sleep whereas then I feel like with your first you just everything you're just worried and you're scared and you make it so complicated and I just remember like freaking out and stuff and like now I don't even have that yeah where I'm like I mean I'm overwhelmed and I've I've gotten like the postpartum I've got you know sleep deprived but I just feel like with one I don't know maybe we're just crazier anyways (laughs) um so Jax talks about comparing his kid to other kids and that's relatable because I feel like, uh, you know, I used to do that. I feel like some parents think they have the smartest kids ever and they're just so excited. So they get excited to talk about it. And I mean, I have never been that mom who does that and talks about it, but I've been around moms who are like that and constantly talking about it. So then in return, it would make me compare. Oh yeah. Like I thought that was so real for him to say. And, yeah. and I think it's nice. Cause like other people can be like, yeah, I do do that, do that too. Maybe we shouldn't, you know, like everyone has their own way. Yeah. Of going about things is, do we know if their son is like talking now? 
Um, I don't know if he is, to be honest. No, okay. but like, they didn't say like he has anything. Like he was just like he's delayed a little bit. No, I mean when they brought that person that came, like when I remember there was like part of the scene where she like told him to say more, and he said more. I just, I mean, even my son Jack, I feel like Jack, he understands everything, and he is starting to say sentences now. But like it did take him a little bit longer than I'll I'll say like with Charlie. Yeah. I don't remember anything with Sloan, my second child. I literally don't remember anything with her. So, like, man, the second child. No, like, the second child thing. Like, it's a middle child thing. Like, there's a reason they feel like a middle child. So, luckily, like, I feel like my husband is – he makes it a point to give her the most attention because she's a middle child and he was a middle child and he knows how it felt. But anyways. I was a middle child and I don't know if I feel that. Yeah, but you're also very hard. Your personality is very... Um, <laughs> oh, wow. Thank you. Not hard, but you're very, like, strong. I'm an ice queen. Yeah, like, you, like, if something was to happen in your life, you'd be like, okay, and? And you would be like, how do I move forward on this? Like, you you, you don't, like, harp on... Th- your mom literally never told you she loves you. So, I oh, mean, wow. you're fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you're, like, totally fine. <laughs> Uh, I'll never forget at Shandell's wedding. I was like, are you proud of her? She's like, no. And that's <laughs> literally just how she is. Oh, my gosh. Anyways, I'm letting all the tea out, huh? Yeah, you're going. You're doing I deep, huh? I swear. So Kristen sends Michelle a text and says that she just wants to wants her to for, – I hate when people do this. She wants her to know that her secrets are safe with her and basically that she would never expose those and that she wishes her the best. I don't think like that Kristen. she would ever bring that up. Right. Kristen, come on. Oh, my God. I this hate is when like people do that. This is like 17 years old things. Like right. Why are we talking about that? M- Michelle wasn't questioning if you were going to expose things that she opened up to you about. So I'm not quite sure where this is coming and, from. And you know exactly what she's talking about her relationship like that's exactly what she's talking oh, about yeah like, you know michelle talking shit about her her husband and like the problems they oh, went yeah. through, and like that's what she's trying to say but it's like oh my god kristen okay yeah like michelle- thank you so much for keeping my my secrets just because we're in a little fight i know right like for you to even bring that up red flag a huge red flag um michelle does say in a twisted way kristen is bringing her and jesse together because they're having each other's back in this but I don't know. It was kind of odd to say. It was really weird. And like, why are you guys having so much fun? <laughs> yeah. Over this. This is so scary. Where they're like actually laughing. She's like, we've never laughed like this. I'm like, oh my God. Um, Kristen and Zach think Janet is the one actually planting the seed. But again, I need Zach to have that energy in front of Janet. Like, I hate when people have energy to call someone out behind the scenes. Why is Zach here though then? Because it's like, what are you doing then? Like, if you're here as a friend of or whatever, it's like, bring it. Right. That's so true. I do like him, though. Uh, The men are having a play date, and it's laughable. No one knows how to attach a car seat. But that's me, Chantal. Like, I've never attached a car seat, so I get the struggle. I'm, like, literally the dude. Roxanne is literally a mom of four. They have no idea how she's a mom of four. I know. She does it every time. I'm, like, like, the way she's, like, holding her own damn baby. I'm, like, are you okay? (laughs) I know. I felt like Pierce Hilton holding her baby, but yeah. <laughs> I just, it was, she, this baby is so tiny. It's so scary, but I swear watching this made me appreciate my husband for like being the guy who knows how to like do simple things like this. Yeah. Cause he knows that you can't. So he's like, there's no way I'm like, can't sing like the car seat, like flying oh, off exactly. the wall. Yeah. He knows that if I even tried, like he would never risk that for, he just doesn't trust me. Like with my kids, it's very scary. But even Roxanne when I go also- out. You also, yeah, but you know what Roxanne has done in her life is like she's learned that like sh- if she acts like she doesn't want to do something, she yes. doesn't do it. So it I love it. Him off. It pisses it, him off too, probably. It does. I mean, you know, it does. I. It's something that it's a toxic trait I learned from my mom because my mom does that, and. <laughs> yeah. Sort of God, she does that, but she like, but my mom doesn't even try to learn. Like, yeah, I just act like I don't. I, I mean, but I really don't know. But I just won't learn because I know someone will ask will do it for me, and that's like my husband. So he does all that kind of stuff. Um, but it does make me appreciate him because that was scary watching these well, guys. Did you let him know that? I no, I need to. Text I need him right him. now and say I appreciate. Oh my you God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I told him today, I was like, can you watch the Valley? I was like, can you please? And he's like, no, man, I don't like that fake shit. I was like, Jake, and first off, he'll like watch the Real Housewives with me. So I'm like, what are you talking about? He was, like, absolutely loves the fake stuff. He loves when it's so toxic. He loves it. So fake. He just did a rewatch of Jersey Shore. 
then he started talking like Ronnie and I almost punched him. Whoa. And I was like, yeah, I was like, please stop. And then he was like, I can't, I can't stop acting like these people. I'm like, you need to stop watching this. But he's finally caught up. We're really sick how we rewatch shows. Yeah. And we do it it's on our com- phone. There's something comforting about it. I know. I know. And we were so young when we first watched where we're like, oh my gosh, like if I watched Jersey Shore again, I would be so scared. Yeah. I don't think I could do that. Me either. Um, But I don't know. I love when they all entered the fair and I just find it to be like the way productions displaying them. It's like a comedy to me when all three of them walked in with their strollers. Yeah. It was like almost like they were, it was almost like a movie. that they were Yeah. That's, like, how, you know? that's how I felt. And I was like laughing at that. Um, Jax asked Jesse about therapy and Jesse says that he can't really compliment Michelle because she feels like it's fake when he does. And Jack says that's all Brittany wants. But I think what they need to realize is a woman wants a genuine comp- compliment. Like the last thing they want to be complimented on is their ass. Cause it's like, you just want some right now. Yeah, exactly. So it's like, if you just form a, like some sort of connection, emotional connection yeah. with your wife, they're going to be so obsessed with you. Like, that's all you need to do. It's like, it's really oh, easy. No. Yeah, they make it so much harder. Of course, like, King Danny asks if they did, if they've ever taken the love language test. Again, I'm him, obsessed with him. Like, we're, right. we need him on. Like, can we I try know. to get him on? I swear. You know what? Actually, I will. I will DM him because we followed him and he followed us back. So, uh, he and he, I'm just kidding. Yeah. You have a beautiful wife, okay? Yeah, literally like <laughs> stunning. Are you kidding? But him and Naya truly give a solid relationship. But it's, you know, like I feel like they both just communicate well with each other. You can just tell. But I want to see more of that. Like if it's like I want to see them actually get in an argument than like the way they communicate with each other. Like not like be fake. So hopefully like that is genuine, you know? And maybe they don't argue as much, but I doubt yeah. like, you know, having three kids, I'm sure you argue, but three they just babies. like Yeah. Yeah. They just and it's just like he even just has like this most beautiful like outlook. He's like, you know, you're gonna go through it or whatever. And like the other ones are just naggers and complainers, and he's just right. not like that. It's like he I almost th- looks at life like gratitude and like and blessed almost, where everyone just looks at it like, uh. I mean, I guess, like, when you're married to someone who looks like that, I'm just kidding, though, because, like, I feel like even if you are married to, like, a pretty person, people, like, still act, um, like, disrespectful and crazy, and he, you can just tell he's, I don't know what the hell I'm saying, to be honest. Yeah, because they're all pretty, like, the people that are Yeah, I just thought about that. Yeah, I was like, like, wait, they're all pretty. But she's, like, stunning. Okay, anyways. Um, Kristen and Luke really want a baby, but Luke wants to stay in Colorado, and Kristen wants to like always stay in LA and this is a disaster waiting to happen. I think like, I mean, I was going to say like when Kristen gets older, she'll like learn, but she's already like old, older, not old guys. Stop. Like, I know. <laughs> Shanta has been on this kick with age. You could not no, do it's, this. I'm just, like, I'm just saying old for them. Like we've seen her since she was like, maybe like in her like late twenties, like it's been right. a lot, a lot, you know? So th- she's old for her. And yeah. so I'm like, you know, actually, I don't know if she will end up going. Yeah. Well, Brittany and Danny are helping Luke set up a romantic night. And it makes me feel bad for Brittany because that's all she wants from Jax. And she tells him it and he still makes no effort. Like, that's a huge red flag when you tell like, someone something and you still don't do it. Jax, no wonder why she moved out. Like, no wonder why. Yeah, I know. What do you think about her moving out versus Jax moving out? I think it's a power move and it shows like, listen, like I'm by, like I'm done. Like this is, well, because people are like talking about like Ariana and saying, well, she, you know, why isn't she moving out? But then people are like, well, why doesn't the man move out? Why doesn't Jax move out? Yeah. I think, I think, I think I'm sure there's conversations about like, who's going to move out. And then like, if they don't, you're going to be like, I'm going to. Yeah. (laughs) That's something my, my husband has said. He's like, I do not believe in divorce. It would never happen. And he's like, I would never leave this house. And I'm like, oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> See? So yeah. guess who would be packing their bags? You. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, but, yeah, it, there was a there was a part, by the way, where um, Brittany uh, – <laughs> Chantal, do you, do you hear that? No, no. Yeah, who is it? Uh, One of your kids? It sure is. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's Sloney. Yeah, she's. I. I. Yeah, she. I just gave her my phone real quick because I need to finish this. And she was like, "Is Daddy gonna yell at me?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he sure is. He sure is. If he finds out about this, he sure is. Um, but what I was gonna say was there was like a part where I don't know. Do you remember what Danny said? Where you know, like, um, 
Bernie brings up like, you know, with kids and he's like, yeah, but you should put your relationship first. It, it, it isn't just about the kids. And I'm like, wow, this guy is like amazing. No, he really is. I don't know exactly what he said, but I remember just yeah. being like, oh my gosh, like he really just is so great. I swear he yeah. just like has like a more positive outlook on yeah. marriage and kids than most people do. It's like you look at it and you're like, oh, right. like, like I yeah. said, it's just like, you know, and he just is like, so oh, I love him. Yeah. So they're headed to the gala and Jax and Brittany discuss how much they're willing to spend at the charity. And I, look, I get where Jax is coming from because you want to donate as much as possible, but you also have a lot to cover with your child, you know, but I'm sure <laughs> if, like, I'm sure if you had it and like you, you had X amount of money, you are going to donate. But then if you like don't have it as much, you know, and you have other things to worry about, it will be harder to donate as much as you want to. I just think it was funny because like Janet and you know her guy discussed it first and then then um then Jack's like come on Brittany let's put a limit and like she didn't want to because she like knew she'd probably spend more than what they had said right and he was like we have like speech and I mean even like I have my kids in private school and Montessori school like all that adds up that you know whenever like they the school constantly asks us to donate and I'm like oh my gosh like is intuition or already donation it's like a lot yeah, it, it was very mature of Jax. Like, you know, you would think that he's not like that. What was mature of him? Like, he, like, wants to spend, like, you could tell he's, like, a saver now. Like, he's not someone just to spend his money, like, probably, like, he would have, like, 10 years ago. Like, he knows what it means to make money. And, like, now if they make more money, he wants to, like, save as much as they can for their future. Right. Yeah. Um. So... At the gala, Michelle wants to avoid Kristen, and Zach apologizes. Michelle accepted because she said that he didn't put it on camera, but Kristen did. And I get that, but Michelle should have her eyes open regarding everyone else. I think it's great, though, that Zach is encouraging Michelle to talk. Yeah. Um, I feel like Janet would never have encouraged that. No, Janet's, like, low-key happy that they're fighting. Right. I know. I'm getting weird vibes, Chantel. Mm-hmm. Me too. Yeah. Jesse and Michelle talk about how they met. They say they had a coffee, um, like a coffee date, but she canceled the actual date because all he did was talk about himself and didn't ask her one question. And that's the biggest red flag, by the way, to me. Um, yeah, like I would be bored out of my mind if someone did that. Yeah. I mean, I remember like I had went on a date with like this very attractive guy and he was looking for something serious. So that was a green flag. But all he did was talk about himself. Every phone call never asked me a question. And I just couldn't do it. Like, he was attractive. He was, like, he was successful. Like, I could not do it. So I understand why she canceled the date. But then she slept with him. And they've been together ever since. Which, how the F, that sounds miserable. Yeah, because it's all, it basically was, like, all like this like sexual um relationship they had and like no wonder now that and now they don't have that yeah that's out of it that you guys can't stand each other almost you know so like unless they found a new way to like love each other then there was there's hope for this relationship but if they never did that and they really just like lived off of like the thrill and the sexual like no it sounds like it sounds like that is what they did yeah exactly and And then then now she doesn't even want yeah, and then she doesn't even want to have sex with him. So, like, if that's not there, then what the hell is there? They have nothing to connect on. Even though they both do have the same jobs. I know. Yeah. Kristen, Jesse, Zach, and Michelle, they go out to talk, which I'm glad there's no audience because I feel like that just makes things so much worse and people can twist it when there's an audience. Kristen, she does have an, a great apology, but Michelle is saying everyone's denying uh, that word was ever said to her. Kristen is trying to explain and they don't want her to explain. They just want her to own it. And I'm like, no, like let her get out what really was said. Like I need the context out there, but of course it doesn't. Jesse makes things worse and Kristen's still being apologetic. And then Michelle says Kristen needs help. Kristen is being vulnerable, but Michelle's a very, very stubborn. Yeah. She's, she's really pissed. Like, I don't think she's going to get past this. What did we think about Luke not coming though? Do you think he was hiding or like, or you think it really was like him not wanting like something with the dogs that she said? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. And maybe, I, I mean, I doubt it with the dogs had diarrhea like conveniently and he doesn't seem to like want to be around that stuff. He seems very normal. And like, I mean, I do respect people who don't show up because they're like, why am I going to involve myself in this toxic bullshit? Yeah. I kind of liked it because like, it's like, like they, these people do put like bring out a bad side of me. And like Jax wants to turn it into like, he's a psychopath or something, but it's like, no, these people bring out like such a bad side of me. Like, why would I want that? Why would I want yeah. to be around stuff like that? 
I don't think that Kristen needed to speak with Jesse. I mean, that kind of pissed me off, but it didn't end so bad. So I feel like Michelle will be softer now that Jesse isn't insinuating that he wants to move on. But yeah, I was also or, like, ugh. or they're not going to laugh as much since like they had that in common, that weird thing in common. What weird thing in common? Like fighting with Kristen. Because like oh. Jesse's going to be like, oh, I'm cool with her now. And then she's going to be like, oh, no, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh. I mean, that relationship is beyond over so which is really sad but i don't know overall i thought it was a really great episode i mean again if you guys are not watching this please tune in because it really is it really is good i hope people are giving it a chance yeah i agree are we going to talk about summer house like have you watched last last episode i did watch the last episode did you like it I don't recall, like, what the heck happened. Yeah, hold on. I'm trying, I'm trying to think about it, too, for a second. <laughs> Look at you asking me, putting me on the spot. And then I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, what was the I'm not ready for it. I'm so confused. Oh, oh. A lot oh, of Paige. The one thing, no, the one thing that happened crazy was that, like, Paige literally should have told Lindsay, like, if you don't want to marry him, like, you can, you still have a chance to get out of this, which was, like, weird that was coming from Paige. But, like, Lindsay's like, there's, like, red flags, but not enough, like, red flags for me not to. And it's like, like, how are you so blindsided if so many people were telling you these she things? She wasn't, Chantal. She wasn't blindsided at all. I know. That's it really joke. pisses me off. I mean, she looks terrible. She literally, like, even, like, her to still make that Sandoval reference, like, she thought she was going to leave the show, like, when this all happened, that she was going to be the Ariana. And, it, like, that's the last thing that happened, sweetie. Like, the last thing. You mm-hmm. are you are the Sandoval in this situation. Carl, I don't know if he was just playing the game, but he looked uh, like the most amazing man compared to you. Yeah, he looked like he was trying. He cared. Oh, oh, and another big thing. Yeah, another big thing that we forgot to talk about was him asking Kyle to be a flower boy. Like, oh. what the hell is what the hell is a flower boy? I've never heard of them. Yeah, that's. I mean, like, they're trying to be funny, but that was like super disrespectful. But I get it. at the end of the day, you have to kind of side with your wife. And if your wife has a problem and she felt disrespected by your friend, like at the end of the day, you have to choose your wife. I know, but like Lindsay's so cruel for that, though. It's like Lindsay, you know that he like yeah, and you know how they back. are. Yeah, yeah, and it's like you're really you're gonna really be so mad about it. Like, look, it just really bothers me. Guess how many steps I've taken today. Yeah, you're like on one. I don't know what's wrong with you. Are you sure that thing works? I ordered it, but yes, it does. I um have been because I just feel like with this pregnancy, I've gained weight in weird places, and um I've been walking so much. And today I did twenty thousand steps. No, Roxanne, that's not normal. I know, but I don't see a difference, and it's really bothering me. Okay, well, if you're eating the same, you're not going to really see that much of a difference. I'm not eating the same. Oh, like, so then give it time. It's been three days since you've done more than 10 plus steps. <laughs> I did eat. I just did eat Doritos though. And I'm like, this is, this is my problem in life. This is my fucking problem. Is give your body a break. Okay. You haven't even hit six weeks yet. I know today. Oh, my daughter's two weeks today. Two weeks. And you're trying to do 25 <laughs> steps. Like you guys like get her, get her help. Like you need help. I don't know. The fourth one's hitting differently. So no, I think you need to give it time. Like maybe just like relax. And that's what your body's supposed to do. I don't know. I don't think so. But I mean, I'm all for walking, but like for you to go over even like 10,000 steps, like what are you trying to like achieve? What are you trying to achieve here? I don't know. It's eight miles. It's just weird because I was looking at pictures after I had Jack and like the one thing about Chantal and I, we're, we're pear shaped. Like we always like have like a smaller waist and then like we're bottom heavy and um, guys over here for me. Yeah. So like I, but Chantal wears like thongs. It's so scary. I would never. So I um like looked at photos of like me with Jack after like eight days and like my stomach got back to normal, but like my bottom was like so heavy and stuff. And, um, with this one, I'm like, Oh my gosh, like my stomach is still looks like, like flabby. And I'm like, I'm just, I'm just not used to it. So like, yeah, I am kind of freaking out. You, you just gave birth two weeks ago. Right. But like if, if I, after, I don't remember it with Charlie, I don't remember. I think I was like a little bit bigger for a little bit, but then, then I usually am, but with Jack, like it, I just, it was, it was different. So now I'm like, yeah, I am putting a little bit of pressure on myself, but that's, you know, that's life, huh? Yeah. You need help. Well, Chantal ordered the step thing. Cause she got jealous that I have it. 
Well, yeah, I was like getting dolls that I don't know how many steps I really actually do when I do walk a lot. So I'm like, <laughs> let me, let me see what we both have doing. the treadmill. We both have that treadmill where you, it's like a $200 treadmill. Like you can put it in front of your desk or like, I just put it in Elle's room while she's sleeping. I literally just walk on it and I have my laptop. I literally wrote my notes while I was on the, um, while I was on it today. Yeah, but where is your desk? Like, how do you put your laptop on? on Yeah, so I take my phone and I write my notes on the phone while I watch on the laptop, and I put the laptop on Elle's dresser. Oh, (laughs) (laughs) it's a fucking shit show, dude. I actually have mine under my real desk at work, so like, you know, I actually yeah, I'm working, but like, it really is cool. You know, there's like things where you can get. Like it's like a foldable. I'm not thing. spending <laughs> any more fucking money on this shit. This type of stuff. Like I did the Peloton and I like got over into like I can't even. But this is good because I do feel like walking is very easy for me. So because <laughs> oh yeah, no shit. <laughs> yeah. So this is I hate working out. So this is the one thing like I'll do. I feel like yeah. I'm like slacking if I just walk. Well, that's cute. Good for yeah. you. It's okay. You're still skinnier than me. You only only you're doing is walking, but I also think you starve yourself. So no, I just literally had Doritos, and yep. I did I did Factor. Oh, nice. Yeah, you like I did, it? I, yeah, I really like Factor, you guys, because you just like put it in the microwave for two minutes. <laughs> it's super easy. It's so and the food's good. I swear, I was, we were talking them one time. My problem is it portions. Like I um like and I me and Chantel when we go out to eat, like it's the best day of our lives. <laughs> it's like I'm that's my biggest problem is portions. Like I can eat right. so much. Exactly. <laughs> Same. So like the thing about like factors is like the portion is there. You can't like I would get second or third, but you know, I, I can't with factor. Like even I, we're not even sponsoring them this week, and I I'm know. talking about them. <laughs> right, I think our code still works, so it's fifty TRH guys. If you want to go to factorfield.com, <laughs> yeah. But um, we can't. We couldn't even use our code because I think we already used it once. But. I swear. <laughs> but um, I was even like when I like cook for Val and I, like usually when you cook for two people, it's like always like you know for four kind of like that's all hundred percent. And like we we eat it all. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, like you're gonna gain 15 pounds for sure. No, I already did. Gain, I already gained my like freshman like five. Yeah, which, are, like, like have you finish. really? Yeah, no, I really have. Like, I really like checked myself this week, and I was like, actually, after coming back from California, I was like, I'm not waiting for you to eat. I was like, we're not eating together. And like today, I did so well. And like, l- let's just hope I like keep up with that. The problem with your husband is he eats at 11 p.m. So like yeah. that is a terrible, terrible habit. And I sleep at 10:30. So like, how does this work? Right, like you end up eating and then going straight to sleep. Yeah, exactly. So it's like not, <laughs> yeah, no, it's not okay. And you're already and, that bitch who needs breakfast, who needs lunch. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, oh yeah, so I probably have breakfast, lunch, a, like a snack, snack really, like a yeah. small meal, yeah. and then on top of that, I have my dinner. So like, no, like Which I literally is fine, but like your dinner's so late. No, no, no. It's yeah. Well, you yeah. guys, now you know that we all have um issues, and we're probably like um body dysmorphic <laughs> we, here. We have food <laughs> issues, yeah. I mean, we all do, don't we? I know, but we all have to love our bodies. You know, that's the most important thing. Chantal, shut up. No, we do. Like, love yourself, love your body, give it a hug. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean, yes, but like also, like if it makes you feel good to like look a certain way. I mean, when you look good, you feel good, huh? Yeah, but like you know, sometimes it's you don't hard. Want to stress yourself out. Yeah, like to get to that point, like just be happy okay. and healthy. Like I'm all for the health. So like, if you need to move your body, move your body. But if you want yeah. the hot Cheetos, eat the hot Cheetos. <laughs> I just ate Doritos, so and it, that's it was like worth gross. It. Like I would never even waste my calories on Doritos. Wow, now I feel bad because it is like, like it's like dirty ass. Like Doritos is like the worst kind of chips. It's just not even good. So and that's good. just like the hot one. Did you get to eat the hot one? <laughs> no, I just ate the regular one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're done here. That's yeah. enough out of us. This we is should clip fun. this and put this on like our um for you or like our Instagram people. Are like, what the hell are they talking about? <laughs> <laughs> okay, have fun doing that. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye guys. Bye guys. Hey everyone, it's Chris Frangiola, and I'm the host of your new favorite podcast, Cover to Cover. Each week on Cover to Cover, I scour the world's newspapers bring you the craziest stories in fashion music pop culture food you name it we give you the comedy angle on all of it if this sounds up your alley listen to cover to cover on the iheart app apple podcast or wherever you get your podcasts